Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, April 12, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today and may his peace and favor be seen in your lives. Our reading this morning comes to us from 1 Timothy chapter 4 and we will read from verses 1 to 5. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience snared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word from his servant Timothy. And as we read this morning, I pray that we will get some context. And I pray that we will get clarity as the Holy Spirit guide us into the truth and the word of God. Amen. Now the word of God here clearly state that in the last days that some is going to depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrines of devils. So they will speak lies in hypocrisy mean that they know the truth you know but they choose to speak lies because what is hypocrisy saying one thing and then doing something complete opposite to that thing that is hypocrisy so the reason that they are comfortable speaking those lies and being hypocrites about it is because their consciences are now sneered with an hot iron the word of god says so in other words it doesn't bother them because they walk away from the light and now they are in darkness they they are so engulfed in in such gross darkness that whatever they are saying, whatever they are doing. So if they are telling you to jump off a building because you would fly, it wouldn't bother them that you're going to jump off and you're going to drop and broke your neck. Because what? They don't care. Their job or their mission is to lead you down the same road to believe in the same doctrines of devils that they do now believe and to be seduced by evil spirit to go contrary to what God wants for you and to do the will of God. And so these are some of the things that they go on to say that they forbid to marry. How can you forbid to marry when God says that a man should leave his father and mother? And cling to his wife. You can't forbid anything. It is lawful for a man to get married. Now if you don't want to get married. Well that's your choice. But if you want a relationship. And if you want the benefits of marriage. Then you must get married. No two way streets about it. It's simple as that. So anyone come and tell you otherwise. What is that? doctrines of devils because they are going against what God has ordained and what God has said. Amen? So I hope we are understanding that. Now they go on to talk about abstain from meat which God had created to be received with thanksgiving. So now they are saying that look here God bless everything so you can eat anything you want you can do anything you want to and i will draw your attention back to the garden 
of Eden. The tree of knowledge. Right? That was in the midst of the garden, garden that Adam and Eve was told not to eat from. What did the serpent go and say to them? Did they know the truth? What did the serpent go and say to them? He started out by asking them a question. Did God say? And what was their response? Yes, God did say. And then his rebuttal was that. He, God is lying to you. Because he, God, knows that if you eat this fruit, you're going to be just like him. You're going to know good and evil, right from wrong. Come on. Doctrines of devils. So you see the deception? So anyone who is going to come to you and tell you to do something contrary to what the word of God says, you must walk. In fact, don't walk. Run and rebuke them in the name of Jesus if you need to. But don't believe their lies. And keep in mind that these folks, as I said, they are people who are acquainted or were acquainted with the truth. So they are able to come now and spin the truth to their own convenience, just like what the devil did. So they are going to use the same word of God to convince you that what you believe is a lie. And that you should follow what they say and not what God has told you to follow from the beginning. So, and they take it so far to say that what? All you need to do is to just sanctify what you're doing. Just pray over it. Bless it. Because what? It is good. Lies. Lies. No. What? God has blessed. No man can put a curse upon it. And what God has cursed, no man can put a blessing upon it. And if God say that this is so, it is so. So you can't say that God tell you not to do something and then you are going to go to God and tell him that this is what you want to do. And that he must bless what you want to do and sanctify what you want to do. Oh, what audacity do you have? You are out of order. That is not right. And so, that is why it is important for us as believers to know the truth. Because the Bible says, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. The Bible also reminds us that not one word that God has spoken will return to him void. Not one word. Amen. So I pray this morning that we really get some understanding from this passage and some context. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide us into his truth. And help us to remain firm and grounded in the word of God. So that we will not be deceived by seducing spirit and false teaching. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day.